Hey, what's up guys? Houston here. So I've finally made it into Vegas and trying to get suited to go out for dinner and take the family out. And man, I tell you what, a lot of people regret that that Formula One has came here. The reason is, is because like you see this uh, artificial ramp. So it's an artificial ramp for Formula One or whatever. So I had to build all of that. And people where like the tower I'm standing here, like people have to like literally go all the way down there, make a U-turn, go all the way back up that way, then come back around, making an illegal U-turn at that to make it back around, you know. So it makes, makes it a bigger challenge. You know, and so, like I said, you got the MGM right there, plus you got the, um, what is that, little castle hotel. And you got plenty Hollywood there. And the spear is on the other side. So we can't see it from this here angle. We have to go around. So I'll show you guys that, that spear later. But for those of you that are trying to get into this, um, what do you call it? Um, Black Friday and this Monday holiday thing or whatever. Some of the best credit cards, I'm going to tell you guys that you really should go for it because they're low hanging fruit credit cards too. All right. So like your pen fed gold card, because it's 0% for 15 months. That's one of the credit cards that I would definitely tell you. And it's pre-approval. Now, the reason I'm telling you about that card, because it's a FICO 9 uh, credit score that you need. All right. So that's the reason that I'm telling you about that card um, for 15 months. Then you have the American Express Blue Cash, which is also 15 months. Now, here's the thing about it. People think that you have to have perfect credit to get an American Express. And that's not true. If you're hovering and I've seen people with a 660, 670 credit score get an American Express. Now, with American Express, that's the tram. With the American Express um, credit card, like I said, you can do a pre-qualification on that as well. Now, they usually pull Experian, uh, Experian FICO 8 credit score with that one. So a few credit cards that you want to check out because they're again like they're low hanging fruit now nasa nasa federal credit union you join that through the national space society or whatever and so with the with nasa here's the good thing about nasa nasa used to use a mortgage score a mortgage two credit score to give you a credit card but they switched over to Vantage 4. So this is the reason I tell people is to find different credit unions to actually um, use their Vantage score. And of course, where you get your Vantage 3 score at, you would actually get that like from Credit Karma. Even American Express will give you a Vantage 3 TransUnion score. However, when it comes to your Vantage uh, 4 score, like NASA give it to you, um, Randolph Brooks Federal Credit Union, they will give you a uh, Vantage 4 score as well, all right? And also understanding that with your Vantage 3 and Vantage 4, the reason that I keep telling you guys is because you can easily inflate those numbers and the numbers uh, jump up real quick. That's the reason like when you go to, um, like when you go to Credit Karma and so say that you have negative items off on your credit you can challenge those negative items on credit karma and usually within 72 hours those negative items will come off and you'll see your vantage score go up so when you see your vantage score go up then that's the reason you want to start looking for vantage scoring like a um, bcu baxter credit union right so with baxter credit union they are vantage three and so they have an easy credit card, but you have to join them first. Now, here's the interesting thing about it. With uh, BCU, Baxter Credit Union, because it's a Vantage 3 
credit union, they make it much easier to get into because all you they have a program or organization called the Life Money You. And so when you join that Life Money You, it's five dollars to join it. But at the same time, by you joining that, um, as you can see over here, by you joining that um, Life Money You uh, thing, they will waive that five dollars so you can join. Okay, so, but if you're looking for like uh, instant credit cards easy instant credit cards then you also want to look at the patel now the patel credit card uh it is a uh fico 9 scoring right but it's soft pull at like that so you may not even see the soft pull on that patel one credit card if you have bad credit then the patel 2 because the patel 2 goes from 300 up to 10,000 all right but that uh navy federal the platinum card is the one when you if you're able to join a lot of people still having challenges joining navy federal but if you're able to join navy federal um then that platinum card is the card you want to get into right because again like I said, a lot of people want to join because with a bad credit score, 580 uh, credit score, they give you $25,000, right? And so with, um, don't forget with Navy Federal, that is a transunion credit score as well, okay? It's a transunion FICO 9. Just keep in mind that because you have multiple um, pledge loans on your credit file, excuse me, because you have multiple pledge loans on your credit file, that does not mean that that's going to help you get a loan because the pledge loans is only to help your credit score for credit cards, not for their personal loans. So, so that you can have some clarity of that. But at the same time, you know, uh, looking at some easier credit cards to get access to, like uh, the GM, GM credit card. But here's the problem with GM, even though it's a FICO 9 credit card, um, TransUnion FICO 9 from Goldman Sachs, but think about it like they're kind of conservative on the limits. Now, one credit card with the major banks, uh, which is a tier one bank, which is Wells Fargo. Most of the credit cards I'm telling you about, those are tier three because they're credit unions. American Express is a tier one, but Wells Fargo, a reflect card now here's the reason i like that now with the wells fargo reflect card even though they use experience fico 9 they'll pull a transunion okay but if you're already a member they may not even do a hard pull because i got that card and one of the things about it what i like about it with the wells fargo reflect card it's 21 months of no interest so if you're trying to do like black friday shopping and like what I'm doing, came to Vegas and stuff to take take my wife Christmas shopping and stuff like that, then that's a great credit card. Also, with the Wells Fargo Reflect card, here's another thing. Like if you need a credit limit increase, they will use that same pool that they did, that soft pool they did, and look at it to see if you qualify for a credit limit increase and give you checks to liquidate that card, okay? So if you have any questions about business credit funding, personal credit funding, that's New York, New York over there. I was trying to zoom in. So that's New York, New York over there. Then over here where I'm pointing with the roller coaster and stuff like that. Um, I like staying at the Aria. The Aria is, is nice because of the Bellagio fountains. But one of the things that happened because of Formula One, they could even shut down the fountains, move the trees, but here's Planet Hollywood where the Miracle Mile is. So of course we're going to be going in there, you know, but here's the links, the big roller coaster and stuff. Like I said, I'm gonna make a separate video to show you guys the spear because I want to catch it at night. So for those of you that may have questions about business credit funding, personal credit funding, removing negative items off of the credit, Click the link in the description. Schedule a one-on-one -on -one consultation. Thank you.